fracking. Dingo Dan and his gang is hard. They're clever. Leave no trails. This is your first time to practice bird calls. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. What else can you do? Me practice Marshall Bravestar. <clears throat> Me Marshall Bravestar. Watch out, you bad guys. <laughs> so that's what I sound like. What's happening? <laughs> That's John Nicely's ranch. Hey, Buster! Look! It's... Dingo Dan! Weasel! Brave Star's here! He's got Mick! Help us, please, help! Speed of the Puma! Now just take it easy, Posey. Two were caught, two ran. Well, let's find. I need you to guard these folks just in case those two rustlers come back. Let's go, 3030. Everything fine now. First day here. They destroyed so much. <laughs> Or my name, not Marshall Bravestar. Hey, where'd that bird come from? <laughs> First love, hear you laugh. I don't see Dingo Dan or Weasel. We gonna track them? No. Now I just want to make sure they don't double back before we get Mick and Buster behind bars. Eyes of the Hawk. The hawk. <laughs> Right now, I'm glad they're running. That family needs help. Hey, why are we stopping? Uh, nobody ever made me run before, and it ain't gonna happen again, you hear? Brave Star is different. Why? Because he thinks he can run me out of his territory? Well, he's gonna learn different. Get off that turbo mule, now! Yo, what, what you gonna do, Dingo Dan? Uh, fix him. So Brave Star thinks we kept going south when he comes tracking us. <laughs> What do we do now? We're doubling back to bust Mick and Buster out of jail. Don't worry. The decent people in town will hold a house raisin to help you build a new home. But until it's ready, you can live over the jail. We certainly appreciate this, but... Hey, how about a job guarding prisoners, Mr. Nicely? You can start with them. I've, I've never been a jailer. It won't be hard. The jail's escape-proof, but you will have to cook for the prisoners. Oh, I can do that. How will we ever thank you? No need to. Besides, I haven't done a thing for Posey, but I'd like to. Could you give me a new doll? I lost mine. Of course. As soon as I... Marshall, please. The doll wasn't lost in the fire. Like all her other dolls, it was just left somewhere. Oh. But as I promised, Posey, you'll get one on your next birthday if you're more responsible. Keep these on your belt. And don't let anybody in till you check the outside cameras on that.
We can keep in touch with these. They're satellite beepers. And that's for protection if you need it. Be careful, Marshal. Dingo Dan's not just mean, he's dangerous. Right. And that's why I have to put him and Weasel behind bars. <laughs> Fuzz, I'm going after Dingo Dan and Weasel. Mr. and Mrs. Nicely are gonna keep an eye on the jail, so I need you to keep the law and order here. Me very, very tough, so not worry. Good little friend. <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> it's just like I planned it. Oh, I forgot, dear. I need shaving soap and a hover razor. All right. Cheer up, kitten. Your birthday's not far off. A video scanner's out there. Yeah, we see it. <laughs> Tell me, can we force the front door? No, it's electric. Needs a key and nicely keeps that on a ring. Yeah, and these bars can't come out. They're a foot deep. <laughs> what do we do now? Uh, we buy Micronite and blast them out. They won't sell Micronite to us. <laughs> they will to a human now. Of course, Mrs. Nicely, just take whatever you need. Mama, look! No, Posy, and you know why. Ah, uh, can I just look at them? Yes, of course. We're gonna dig for carrium, so we need some micronite. You got any? Yeah, but there's a new law. No explosives can be sold unless you got an approved government permit. Oh, no problem. I got one. But uh, can we see the brands you stock first? Back there in the security case. Permit? We ain't got a permit? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Make him give us some. Oh, he's awful big, Dingo Dan. We got no choice. We gotta... Now, look at that. The kid stole a doll, so what? <laughs> That's the nicely kid. And she's gonna give us the key to the jail, that's what. Why would she do that? Because she won't want us to tell her mother and father what she did. Now, will she? Oh, no, Dan. <laughs> she sure won't. <laughs> Mommy, do I have to come in now? Don't you want to help me cook, darling? You always enjoy that. I'd like to look for wildflowers. Don't go too far, kitten. I need you to watch the video monitor while I shave. All right, Daddy. <laughs> now, what should I name you? My name is Posey. My other doll was... Hi, Posey. <gasps> it's you. What do you want? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just to talk a little. Talk about what? <laughs> about that doll. <laughs> we seen how you stole it, Posey. You're wrong! I didn't steal it! Oh, then my eyes must be going dead. <laughs> ha, 
How are your eyes, Mr. Wesley? Well, Mr. Dingo Dan, my eyes are perfect. And I also saw her steal that doll. Here, take it. I don't want it. Oh, it's too late for that, Posey. Oh, oh then you're gonna tell? <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that. Oh, thank you. And I promise I'll never do anything like that again. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. But, um, we'll need a little favor in exchange. What favor? Getting us the keys to the jail. The keys? No, no, I can't do that. Well, then we can't keep our promise not to tell. Wait, will you promise to leave if I get the keys and not to hurt anybody? Oh, I promise you, Posey. <laughs> now, when can you get the keys? Well, my father's shaving. Good girl. <laughs> Just throw them out the window. We'll be waiting. You're just in time, kitten. Now watch the monitor while I shave. Yes, Daddy. Posey, can you help me string these while I peel the... <gasps> No! You promised not to hurt anybody if I gave you the keys. You gave them the keys? Posey, how could you do that? <laughs> Go on, tell your mother. Tell me, Posey, please. I stole this at the store. They saw me and were going to tell. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> Here, let me combust her out. Dingo Dan and Weasel fooled us. Now I'm worried about where they are. Hmm, where do you think that might be? I just hope not there. Brave Star here. Dingo Dan here. <laughs> Surprised? Not really. Are the Nicelys all right? They're fine, but a little tied up at the moment. <laughs> Let me talk to them. They did tie us up, Marshal. And they're taking Posey with them. What do you say about that, Brave Star? Just tell me what you want. Meet me up on Hangman's Hill, and I'll tell you. Tell me now. Why? Dingo Dan. Dingo Dan. <laughs> what about getting some help from the Galactic Police? There's no time. Tell me, what happened here? Well, maybe he's sleeping. Then the bad peoples come. You mean the rustlers? Uh-huh. And they has Posey with them. But me doesn't know where they go. I do. It's Hangman's Hill. Let's go. Dingo Dan, I'm here to talk. Then drop your armor and come on up, Brave Star. You wait here, Fuzz. Yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet. 
Dan, why'd you do that? So you'll think a little better about the deal I want. What kind of deal? Hmm, in exchange for the kid. We leave with the herd, and you don't chase us for a month. I can't do that to the law and order of this territory. If you want her back, you will. You got... 30 seconds to decide. Can you do it? I doesn't know, but me try, Marshal. Well, <laughs> you're gonna think about it or turn it down, Brave Star. I think about it, Dingo Dan. <laughs> you bet you will, Brave Star. You know why? Cause I got the upper hand, and I want to know, how does it feel? <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> that ain't all. Now, watch this. If and you accept the deal, I want you to crawl up to me on your knees. <laughs> you want me to crawl on my knees? Yes! And you got ten seconds now! I'll discuss it with my associates. There's five seconds left, Brave Star! So, you, you coming up, or ain't you? I am up, Dingo Dan. <laughs> Who's got the upper hand? Put her down, Dingo Dan, before she bites you. She wouldn't do... Ow! What about the upper hand, Dingo Dan? Oh, oh no, please, please, uh, go easy on me. I, I'm really not a bad guy. Save it for the judge. I want to thank you, Posey. What you did was very brave. But everything that happened was because of the bad thing I did. But if you learn from it, then that'll be a good thing. It was for me when I was your age. You did something bad, too? Yes, I did. Hmm. Then it was you who stole this pony from Little Eagle. Yes, Shaman. I just wanted to ride it. Ah, Little Eagle went to find it last night and fell down on sharp rocks. Oh, I didn't know. I'll bring the pony back and tell him I'm sorry, all right? Ah, that will be good. Wait, also take your new bow and arrows to give to him, too. My bow and arrows? I waited so long to get them. Why must I do it? So you will never forget what you did to him and to yourself. I'd like to learn that too, Brave Star. I think you already have, Bozy. I really do. Today's story showed us how many bad things happened because of the one bad thing Posey did. But she sure helped you out against Dingo Dan. And she also learned how stealing anything always hurts somebody else. Fuzz, haven't you learned how to just whistle and not call them? Uh-huh. Well, then what are they doing on my head? Cause what I said was, go sit down his head. <laughs> <laughs>